Welcome to the video edition of Arts and Times, the Tri-County Arts Calendar. Each quarter, we highlight regional artists who work and exhibit in our area, as well as some of our must-see cultural and natural attractions. John and Judy Fisher create beautiful works of wearable art with their handcrafted silver jewelry and miniature wax linen basketry. John began making art at the University of Maryland. It was basically the craft department at the University of Maryland. They had printmaking, but they also had a wonderful jewelry making studio, and I just sort of fell into it. I'd been doing jewelry work before that. The first piece of jewelry I ever made was 1972, and it was something that kind of stuck with me. It was by accident. Until recently, basket weaving had been Judy's creative focus, when John sought her help, bringing a wider color palette to his silver jewelry. After I started doing a lot of the little baskets, um, John uh, gave me this structure as a Christmas present and said, here, weave it. <laughs> so that kind of started this other woven series of, of pins and um, pendants. It's really not anybody that we know who is doing wax, linen, and silver together. So it's just something different. And again, just one of those things that sort of evolved. Obviously, as, a, as a, an artist, you go through different series and, and processes and things that you learn along the way. And right now, almost all the work I'm doing is fabricated. It kind of fits into the category of handmade jewelry, hand fabricated. Um, don't use a lot of more traditional commercial processes anymore. It's strictly pounding on metal, doing more traditional forging and, and welding techniques to put together the pieces that I do. So it's more sculptural. Um, University of Maryland, um, Bill Nelson was the instructor, got a, a nice technical education from Bill and a pretty good idea about how to put things together. Um, very short period of time with Harold O'Connor who worked at the uh, Maryland Institute of Art for a very brief time, but he kind of showed me um, how to take the jewelry and look at it as art, you know, so that you look not in terms of just a single piece but an evolution of pieces. And it's kind of a Scandinavian design aesthetic. I like I like simple clean lines. Um, I like things where the metal kind of stands out. And then every once in a while we will do things that are a little crazy. We like the marbles and we've done a series of marble pendants. So it's not always technically real um, experimental work, but it's things that I that just appeal to me. Making art and running their gallery are labors of love. The gallery exhibits and sells the work of an eclectic group of artisans including a dozen from right here on Delmarva. We, um, when we moved down here we didn't have a basement to work in which is what we were doing in Severn Park. Um, so we just kind of started looking for space. The space was available. It's more than what we need for John's workbench and a desk for me. So since we knew all the craftspeople from doing shows for such a long time, we just kind of started calling people that we knew and whose work we liked, and it kind of grew from there. Yeah, we kind of call it a gathering of friends. It's, it's a matter that having gone to craft shows for a long time, we would do anywhere from 8 to 15 craft shows a year. We knew a lot of craftspeople. So it was relatively easy to kind of make that transition from being just a craftsperson to also being a gallery owner. So it's one of those things that just, again, we looked at the space. Kind of my standing joke is when we started putting things in the shop, I said, oh good, now I don't have to rearrange the living room, you know, <laughs> once a month. I just let Judy rearrange the shop and it's all good. But she has a good eye for putting things together and we like the fact that we're supporting, you know, 70 artists and craftspeople through their work in the shop here too. John and Judy are most proud of their longevity, surviving in a challenging field. That's probably the most important thing, is that we've just been able to kind of keep working at it. Um, it's the one constant in my life, and so strangely enough, it, it's kind of that support system that we have. But it's, it is nice to be able to, to decide what you want to do, you know, and as you do more work, becomes more important to kind of find your own voice and, and, and to stay with it. John and Judy Fisher's work can be found at their studio gallery, J.J. Fish, in downtown Berlin, Maryland. Thank you for watching this edition of Arts and Times. This Moonshell production was funded by the Worcester County Department of Tourism.
Eat, Drink, Buy Art on Maryland's Eastern Shore. Visit eatdrinkbyart.com to find out about nine towns where great food goes with great art, all produced locally. You'll have a terrific time and take home a work of art you will always treasure.